let's have a look at using Entity Framework Core in this application. So also I'm going to be using link for some of the methods for querying the data. So here we have a main method and you can see the main method has a variable called context. Context is the subject called school context. So what is this? So let's have a look at this school context. And you can see here, this is a very important class in entity framework, school context. And it is inheriting from DB context, which has a lot of boilerplate code and scaffolding to make your application work. So here we're going to have a DB set. DB set is, you can think of it, as a table. So within the database, we're going to have a table called student. And what are the student properties? So this is a code first design. So what we're doing is we have a student class here and the student class has the following properties. And these could be uh, the columns or and these are the columns in the database. So you've got ID, name and age. So what will happen is that it is now stored in a variable called student. So this is a DB set of student, i.e. a table of students. Now here's another important method here on configuration. So this will execute a as soon as the application loads and all we're doing is using the option builder saying this is where our data source is so in this instance it'll be in the same folder where the application is executing from because we have just given it file name of the SQLite database we want to use so notice here that it does use SQLite database but you can use other databases in my previous explanations I showed how to in install entity framework which you can watch in my previous tip so here uh, let's go back up here and then we're gonna use this uh, built-in function that is called ensure created so this will ensure if the database uh, exists and has any table then no action is taken if the database doesn't exist it will go ahead and create the database and also the tables and how is it going to create a table it's going to take the information from the class that we have here so it's got everything it needs to create a database table if one doesn't exist already and then it's going to run this and check if there are any records within the table uh, because using context.student and what is context so context comes from this new school context which i showed you is here so this will then use that and it's now checking if there are any students um, within the table if they are none then it's going to add following the range of students so notice the add range so you can then basically add, add in your new uh, records here and then you have to save changes using the context.save and then you can query the data here using link so here we just going to use context.student again context is very key to this and we are going to use the where method and order by and then convert it to a list and then uh, loop through that list and output the name and the age of the student so if i run this program so you can see here the output of this program so i hope this is a quick overview of the entity framework or database application that you can build right away but we'll go into more detail uh, in later explanations of how each of these things is working